Hey, what's going on? It's Johnny, AKA Tropical Fish Guy. Today I'm going to do a fish tank makeover on the 29 gallon tank. It's about due for water change and I got some cool stuff to make it over. Let me show you. All right. Oh, by the way, let me know if you like this new tapestry I got in that cool right there. It's only like 15 bucks or so. I'll leave a link in the description below. Anyway, so the 29 gallon here is the miscellaneous community tank. I mean, I got this angel fish that I'm fixing to sell tonight to somebody. I've got my rams here. I got my thread fin rainbows. I got my uh, few guppies in there. I got some cool looking celestial pearl danios. They look like mini trouts. And my German blue rams. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? Yeah. German blue rams and emerald dwarf rasboras. They look really good right there, huh? Let me try to focus on that guy. Possible in there, they're pretty fast. Along with my Julie Cory cats, Julie I Cory's. There's a nice picture of those rams, huh? Aren't they pretty? Yeah, this angel fish, he's, uh, he's doing real good, but as you can see, he's being kind of picky, you know, towards the other fish, so I'm kind of gonna get him out of there. He seems maybe he's uh, too big for his britches in this tank. So, you know, angelfish are cichlids, so they can be a little territorial, especially towards other cichlids like the rams and stuff. But he's doing real good. What I'm going to do on this tank is I've already unplugged this sponge filter here for a few days. I'm going to yank that out of there because I already have three filters. And why three filters? When I first set this tank up, this tank cracked right here. So I grabbed the filters from that tank and put it on this tank so I can quickly cycle the tank real fast because I had to put the fish in and they're doing really good. So I, I just overloaded it with a whole bunch of preconditioned filters to add the bacteria. Anyways, I'm gonna take this uh, sponge filter out because it's a big old huge honking sponge filter right in the middle. I tried to hide it with that rock, but that's not very pretty. So I don't need that one. And I might even just go with two power filters here and remove that one. I can't remember why. Yeah, that's a small one there. I'm just gonna go with two of the AquaClear, AquaClear 50s. That should be plenty enough. Overfiltration isn't gonna, um, it's uh, underfiltration isn't gonna, I'm not gonna worry about it being underfiltrated, uh, underfiltered, underfiltrated, yeah, that's not even gonna work. But anyways, so I'm gonna do a water change on here and oh, and I'm gonna, I've got these plants over here. I bought this one cool looking, nice chunky uh, piece of uh, java fern. Check this out. Is that cool or what? That piece of java fern right there. I mean, it, it looks uh, pretty good. I mean, there's a few black spots, whatever. But that one right there is gonna go boom in the middle of that particular tank. So it's gonna be a Java fern is going to be the centerpiece plant for that tank and I think that'll look pretty nice I got some uh, some more Java fern back there. I've got some Java fern up there Got some Anubias got some Java moss got some other stuff right there Can't remember what that is got some water sprite got Val of some sort I don't know if that's Val got some other stuff Ludwigia or something but yeah, I've got a nice mixture of stuff, but I think this big old chunk, and you know what? I might even like break this. I mean, it's such a nice piece. I got this off a guy off the internet. And so that's a nice piece. I might not break that, but uh, I'm also gonna put this little plant here. This one kind of, this one kind of is like some, I don't know, water sprite or something. But this one's kind of looking a little bit week there uh, but uh, we'll see we'll see if it bounces back yeah, it looks like looks like it should do okay well see right there that's gonna die off yep right there but anyways we'll see I'm gonna plant that and see what happens even though there's not a lot of leaves on here I think oh nope actually I'm not gonna plant this because all the leaves fell off but you know what? I'll plant it anyway and see what happens. Yeah, what the heck. But this stuff here, it will start growing even if it floats. So I'm just leaving that in there. But that one piece of uh, java fern, 
Oh, see, look, that one's broke too. I think he packed it too hard or something, but anyway, we'll see. That piece right there is gonna break off because I'll just leave it in there and see what happens. Yeah, anyways, do water change here. It was what it looks like before, okay? Before the uh, makeover. Let me know if you like it before or after, but I'm gonna move, I'm gonna move that ugly thing right there you know, out of the way, and then I'm gonna hide that cord from the heater, right? So, and these plants are just thrown about everywhere, but I'm gonna leave the plants where they are. I might have to get some more java moss from this little tub here with the few guppies in there. Maybe, we'll see. I can't take any more java moss out of there. I bought some more guppies and I'm medicating those for my quarantine. If you haven't seen my quarantine video yet on how I quarantine, I'll leave a link up here in the description or up here or down in the description, whatever. But yeah, I will go ahead and do that and we'll take a look. This is before and I'll show you after here in a second. All right, here's after. Got the big old Java fern plant. How nice does that look? That looks really nice, huh? Got the Anubias right in front of it. Got a nice little open spot here where the fish can swim around. There's the angel fish. Someone's coming tonight, like I said, to get him. Got the thread fins. Guppies. Oh, that's a nice looking guppy right there, huh? Nice female guppy there. Got the rams, so everybody's happy today. Let me get the light in the front. How about that? Light in the front, there we go. Everybody's happy today. There's that yellow one. Maybe light in the back. Let's do light in the back. Yeah. All right. Got that big old chunky uh, filter out of there. Still got the cord. Uh, I should do something with that cord. The heater cord could have hid the heater a little bit better but oh well i'll do it later but uh, lots of room for them to swim around in uh, i can actually get some more fish in here once i get rid of the uh big angel bye angel say bye to everybody last time we'll see the angel look at that he's pretty though isn't he yeah anyways there you go let me know what you think you like the before you like the after all right guys there you have it fish tank makeover on the 29 gallon tank 
Hopefully you guys liked it. If you liked it, give me a like. If you liked it before, give me a like. If you like it after, give me a like. Hey, come on, it's rigged, right? Anyway, subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell if you want to get all these fish videos that I put out. Comment, leave a comment saying, uh, what's your favorite fish? I know it's hard because it's hard for me to even say. Uh, get the, uh, I'll leave a link, like I said, for that tapestry. Isn't that cool? You like that? It's covering up all that ugly um, stuff. The, uh, the, the, the breaker box and all that stuff that was back there. So I'd rather see that. That's pretty neat, along with all the tanks. All right, guys. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Really, really appreciate you guys. Without you guys, I wouldn't be here. Thanks a lot so much. And uh, as always, happy fish keeping. Peace out.